Yeah, he drove day and night. You know, I'm surprised, you know. We weren't supposed to leave till today, but, you know, some of us went in and just said, hey, you know, we want to see our family, so we'd headed on down here. Drove all night and took a couple hours sleep, and then a couple guys finished the rest of the route. Is it a good surprise? What was it like? Were you surprised? Yes. What did you think everybody was doing in the gym today? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Surprise? <laughs> Mommy gotcha. <laughs> what do you think? Surprise! surprise. Is it tough on you the kids no to you can tell? Yeah, it is. Because they don't understand. They don't know why. Why daddy's gone. How's it feel to have your dad home? Good. <laughs> Oh, it's great. I mean, it, that's, you know, we go on missions and we ran gun trucks, so all we could, you know, we had to think of your families, you know, just keep, keep them in the back of your mind, you know, you got to get back to them, so I'm pretty excited. My daddy came home. What do you love about your daddy? He's fun. <laughs> Does he look different? Yes. What, what does he look different? He's taller than his own truck. Does <laughs> so he groom all the time? <laughs> Anything you want to say to your dad? Love you. Love you too, baby doll. <laughs> What's the hardest part about not having your husband? Oh. Um, just the stress and basically being a single parent and just doing everything alone. This is my third, first one to Afghanistan, second, I've been to uh, Iraq twice. What's the hardest part about being away from the kids? Uh, just this. You, you, you just miss. They get too used to mama. <laughs> so, what do you? How's it feel to have Daddy back? <laughs> now you got somebody to go to, right? <laughs>